Oh, hey! Didn't see you there. Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to Veducated. Today I'm joined by my trusty assistant, Ruby. Hey, baby. We're gonna talk about veganism. Hey, yo. Today I'm gonna share my vegan story, how I went vegan, some reasons why I went vegan, things that inspired me, people that inspired me to go vegan. Just needed to adjust my chair a little there. <laughs> Let's begin. So, I was not raised vegan or vegetarian. I was raised in a family that ate animal products. Up until I was 13, I ate a lot of beef, chicken, sometimes pork. I was a huge animal product person. I was not aware of the industry and the truths behind the industry. So when I was about 13, I decided that I was going to become a pescatarian. I thought this was this huge thing. What about the chickens and the fish? It just seems silly to me now. Not that it's not a big switch, because it is, but it's not making much of a difference. I ate like that. I was eating fish, dairy, eggs from when I was 13 up until I turned 18, which was not that long ago. There was a time when I was about 16 when I was like, I'm gonna go vegetarian, guys. That didn't last. And the reason that didn't last was because the reason I wanted to go vegetarian was because of my eating disorder, because I saw this as a way to restrict more. So that was a phase that did not last. Something that I did eat a lot of was dairy. I ate so much yogurt. A lot of cheese. I loved cheese. I, I would eat eggs. I was big on eggs, big on dairy, pretty big on fish. And when I was 17, I started looking into veganism and I started looking into it for all the wrong reasons. The reason I started looking into veganism, similar to when I was younger, was because of my eating disorder. Of course, I was interested in it because I care about animals and I cared about the environment, but the main reason why I started researching veganism was because I was looking for more ways to restrict my intake, which, of course, is not good. And so I said to my mom one day, I was like, I'm gonna be vegan now. That didn't last either. She was like, no, no way. This is something you have to plan out. You're not going to get enough protein. Where are you going to get all your nutrients from? No. And I think she saw through me. I think she realized that I wasn't in this for the right reasons. I was just looking for an excuse to cut out a lot of foods. Not that animal products are foods. I don't consider them food. I consider them products that were made from suffering and unnecessary things that we consume. We, not as in me, because I don't, but people. I really didn't research much. I didn't know about the environmental impact. I didn't know what the truths were behind the animal product industry. I had no idea. I was just in it for all the wrong reasons. So of course that didn't last. I went back to eating chicken and fish and eggs and dairy. There was a period of time when I was 17 to 18 where all I ate were these 35 calorie yogurt cups and I ate so many of those. That was just like every day all I ate. And that's so much dairy. Oh, it just makes me... I used to drink glasses of milk. Ah, and I've always been a baker and I would bake with eggs and butter and milk all the time. In July, shortly after my 18th birthday, uh, I was admitted to a treatment center, not for my eating disorder, but for my other mental health issues. And I started watching a lot of vegan YouTube videos. 
I was really, I am really into Mary Rose Howley. She's my favorite YouTuber of all time and Bella's too. She inspired me to go vegan. She inspired Bella to go vegan. She inspired our whole YouTube channel. Um, she's a very positive person in the vegan and in the eating disorder recovery community. So I suggest you check her out. I'll link her YouTube channel in the description because she's wonderful. She was the biggest influence on why I went vegan. She was the number one influencer because she's the one who brought my attention to all of these resources and a lot of documentaries and other YouTubers and places I could go to find out more about veganism. Similar to her, she said in her vegan story video that she watched Earthlings one night and she went vegan the next day. And that's exactly what happened to me. I was watching Mary Rose Howley on YouTube and she talked about Earthlings. So I was like, hmm. So I watched Earthlings and I watched Forks Over Knives. I watched all the vegan documentaries on Netflix in like one night. I had come home on the weekend on a pass and I had watched all these documentaries when I couldn't sleep one night and I went vegan the next day. I was like, look. <laughs> Mom, I'm going vegan. This is my decision. This is what I'm going to do. I had become aware of the truths of the animal product industry and I was appalled. I was disgusted. I cried a lot. And I was just shocked. I thought that being vegetarian or pescatarian was making this big impact and helping the environment and helping save animals. But I had no idea that the dairy industry is the same thing as the meat industry. Dairy cows become hamburger meat and cows don't produce milk unless they're pregnant. And this is not done naturally. This is done by using what they call rape racks and they inseminate the cows. And when the cow, the mother becomes pregnant, she produces milk and it's, it's not natural. It's, it's painful. It's horrible. And then when her calves are born, if they're males, they're sent off to be slaughtered, to be veal. And if they're females, then they have to go through the same thing that their mothers went through. They become dairy cows that eventually become hamburger meat. I could go on and on and on, but for right now, I just wanna share my, my situation. So yeah, I watched those documentaries. I went online. I did a lot of research in a short amount of time, and I just realized how horrible I am holding the camera horrible this industry is if you have not watched earthlings please do go on netflix instead of watching um what's on netflix instead of watching your favorite show on netflix just switch it up one day watch one of the vegan documentaries i promise you it's worth it you will learn so much and do your research, do your research because there's so much to learn about the animal product industry. So I went vegan and I went back to the treatment center. This is before I was transferred to the eating disorders unit. I was like, look, I wanna to talk to the dietitian, be like, look, I'm, I've am i gone vegan and I wanna be able to change up these things. And I know it's hard to accommodate somebody who's vegan in a hospital because it's a hospital. Come on, let's get real. But I wanted to find out what was vegan. And at this point, I was still restricting because I wasn't on the eating disorder unit. So I was barely eating at all. But when I was eating, I wanted to make sure that what I was eating had no animal products. And so I did that. And then I got the notice that I was going to be transferred to the ED unit. And I told them, I'm a vegan. Am I going to be able to be vegan in the eating disorders program? And they just looked at me like I was ridiculous. They said, no, no, you are not. Um, they said that they would let me be vegetarian 
they could accommodate that. I wouldn't have to eat any animals, but I would have to eat eggs and dairy. And so I almost left the hospital because of this. I almost changed my mind about going to the program. I ended up going and I hadn't been vegan for very long. It had only been like a month, but already it was such an important part of my life. And it became something that was at the top of my list of values. Um, it was, it just, it became something I felt so strongly about and I feel so strongly about. So that was heartbreaking for me to have to go to the eating disorder unit and not be able to be vegan when I was there. There were two other vegans there and so we really bonded over the struggle of not being able to be vegan in the hospital. So we kind of went through that struggle together. What else do I have to say? This is why I don't make videos without writing things down first. Once I left the hospital, I went straight back to being vegan. I left the hospital not in a good place. I am still vegan and I intend to be vegan for the rest of my life, but um, in a matter of two to three weeks, I'm going to be in another eating disorders program and it's going to be the same situation. I'm not going to be allowed to be vegan. I'm only going to be allowed to be vegetarian and of course that makes me not want to go, but I know that I need to go to treatment. So it's just something that I have to do and I have to accept and I need to do it for my recovery. I just have to remember that once I get out, I can go straight back to being vegan and this is not forever. So that's something that I have to keep in mind and it sucks, it sucks so much, but it's just something that I have to do and I'm not looking forward to it at all, but I just gotta do it. But yes, I am, have been and always will be vegan except for eating disorder treatment. Ah! <sighs> why? Why? I mean, I know... Mm, why can't the whole world just be educated about this? So yeah, this was kind of a boring video, not very informative, but I just wanted to share my vegan process, my vegan blossoming if you will. But that is all! Thank you for watching this video. What was that? Coming at you. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a comment. We love to hear from you. Let us know what you want to see in our upcoming videos. We always love when you submit video ideas to us. It's very helpful because Sometimes we're full of ideas, and sometimes we're like, what the heck are we going to talk about this week? Shh. I still intend to post videos and work on videos with Bella and by myself while I'm going through treatment. It's just probably not going to be as frequent. We'll see ya when we see ya. Go vegan! Bye guys! Shit.